Hi all, today we are discussing about encoders. So we already studied uh, some circuits like multiplexes, demultiplexes and decoders. So these are all examples for combinational circuit like that encoder is also an example of a combinational circuit. So what is the purpose of using an encoder? Encoder is used to convert two raised to n inputs to n outputs. So we can define an encoder is a combinational circuit which converts two raised to n inputs to n outputs. So we can draw the block diagram of an encoder two raised to n by n encoder. It has two raised to n input lines and n output lines 2 raised to n input and n output encoders are mainly used in the field of communication that is uh, we know that encoder converts 2 raised to n inputs to n outputs so we can reduce the number of bits while transmission so encoders are used in communication field uh, that is we can uh, reduce the number of bits during the transmission if we are reducing the number of bits of transmitting a data, we can reduce the transmitted power and we can reduce the bandwidth. So that is the main uh, use of encoder. So encoders can be used in communication. That is we can reduce the number of bits while transmission. So we can reduce the transmitted power and bandwidth. but the major problem is accuracy will reduce while encoding. So one more point is um, the encoders comes under the MSI technology that is medium scale integration technology. So in this lecture we are discussing about two types of encoders uh, that is 4 is to 2 encoder and 8 is to 3 encoder. These two encoders we will discuss in this lecture. So first of all we can uh, discuss about the 4 by 2 encoder. 4 by 2 encoder. So in the case of a 4 by 2 encoder, uh, first we can draw the block diagram that is 4 by 2 encoder has 4 inputs, 4 input data lines 4 by 2 encoder. 4 by 2 encoder has 4 input data lines and two output lines output lines so we can denote the data lines input data lines as d0 d1 d2 and d3 and the output lines as x and y we can write the truth table for this encoder that is our input data lines are uh, d3 d2 d1 and d0 and our output la lines are x and y. At a time, only one bit will be high. So, first d0 will be high. At that time, x and y both are 0. That is, output is 0. x and output x and output y will be 0. Next, uh, we are making 1 as d1. d1 becomes 1. When D1 becomes 1, the value will be 0, 1. Output will be 0, 1. That is Y becomes 1. So, next we are making D2. The bit D2 becomes 1. Then at that time the value will be 1, 0. And the last we are making D3 as 1. At that time the value will be 1, 1. Output will be 1, 1. So, this is the output and this is the input bits this is the input bit and this is the output bit so uh, we can find the equations for x and y so x will be 1 x will be 1 when d3 becomes 1 that is uh, when x will be 1 x will be 1 when d2 or d3 d2 here uh, x will be 1 when d2 becomes 1 or d3 becomes 1 at that time x will be 1 so we can uh, write the equation for x as x is becomes 1 either d2 becomes 1 or d3 becomes 1 so we can write x is equal to d2 plus d3 then y becomes 1 y becomes 1 when y becomes 1 either d1 becomes 1 d1 becomes 1 or 
our d3 becomes 1. So, we can write y is equal to d1 plus d1 plus d3. We can write y as d1 plus d3. Then we can implement uh, this function using our logic gates. So, I am going to implement this function using our logic gates. So, first of all, I uh, write the data lines, input data lines d0, d1, d2 and d3. Then uh, 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 the x, x is equal to 1 when d3, uh, x is equal to d2 plus d3. So, we can take d2 and d3 and x is the or combination of d2 and d3. So, we connect d2 and d3 to an OR gate and that will produce the output x. Then we are implementing y. So, y is equal to d1 plus d3. So, we are taking d1 and we are taking d3 from here d3 and this given to an OR gate and we will get y. So, y is equal to d1 plus d3 and x is equal to d2 plus d3. This is uh, this represents 4 is to 2 encoder. This represents a 4 is to 2 encoder. So, next we can look how an 8 by 3 encoder can be formed. So, 8 by 3, 8 by 3 encoder. 8 by 3 encoder, first of all we can draw the block diagram for an 8 by 3, 8 by 3 encoder. So, this is an 8 by 3 encoder, 8 by 3 encoder. It has 8 inputs, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 inputs. We can represent as uh, D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6 and D7. It has 3 output pins we can write X, Y and Z. Also, we can uh, write the truth table for this 8 by 3 encoder that is D7, D6, D5, D3, D4, D3, D2, D1, D0. And the output pins are X, Y and Z. So, at a time only one bit will be high, only one input bit will be high. First, we are taking uh, the D 0th bit is high, at that time X, Y and Z will be 0. Next time we are taking that is D 1 uh, bit becomes high, at that time the output will be 0, 0, 1. This process we are continuing. So, I completed the truth table, then uh, at a time only one bit will be high, first D0 bit will be high, at that time the output combination is 0, 0, 0, then D1 will be high, 0, 0, 1, then D2 will be high, at that time 0, 1, 0, D3 will be high, 0, 1, 1, like that I completed, D7 will be 1, the, at that time the output will be 1, 1, 1. Next, we are uh, writing the equation, the algebraic equation for x, y and z. So, first I am going to write the expression for x. So, we can write x, x is equal to when x will be 1, x will be 1 for uh, d4 becomes 1, d5 becomes 1, d6 becomes 1 and d7 becomes 1 at that time x will be 1. So, we can write x as a combination of d4 plus d4 plus d5 plus d6 plus d7. S is a combination of d4 plus d5 plus d6 plus d7. Next, we are uh, writing the expression for y. y will be 1 for uh, this d2 becomes 1 and d3 becomes 1 then uh, d6 becomes 1 and d7 becomes 1. These four combinations y becomes 1. So, y can be written as d2 plus d2 plus d3 plus d3 plus d6 plus. So, we can write y as d2 plus d3 plus d6 plus d7. Next is z. We are taking z1. 
uh, when z will be 1 z will be 1 4 d 1 becomes 1 then uh, d 3 becomes 1 uh, then d 5 becomes 1 and d 7 becomes 1 these four combinations uh, z becomes 1. So, we can write z is equal to d1 plus d1 plus d3 d3 plus uh, d5 plus d7 d5 plus d7. So, these are the uh, expressions for x, y and z. Our next step is to implement this algebraic function using uh, our logic gates. So, first I write the data lines that is input data lines d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 and d7 so i write the input data lines then first time i am going to implement x so x is a combination of d4 d5 d6 and d7 so uh, we can take d4 d5 d6 d6 and d7 and we are giving this as input to an or gate this is an or gate so we are giving d4 d5 d6 and d7 as the input to or gate we will get x next we can implement we, uh, we can implement the y so y is a combination of y is an or combination of or combination of d2 d2 d3 d2 d3 d5 and d7 so i am taking from here d5 and here d7 so this is my y and next i am going to implement uh, my d uh, z z z is a combination of d1 d1 d3 this is d3 d5 this is uh, this is d5 so i am extending from here and d7 this is d7 taking from here d7 so this is my z so this is the representation of an 8 by 3 encoder this is the representation of logic gate representation of an 8 by 3 encoder so in this lecture we are dealing with only one bit change at a time only one bit is high at a time only one bit becomes high next we are discussing about priority encoder in the case of a priority encoder more than one bits uh, if two bits are high the output will depend on the priority of bit that will be discussed on next lecture so I hope all of you understand this topic well. We will see you on next lecture. Thank you.